what is up guys we are back with another video here and today we are going to be showing you guys the very first things what you guys should be focusing on here in nba 2k24 my team now overall this mode looks a lot more confusing than it really is i wanted to go ahead and take some time to really kind of break down the mode before i started recording because i wanted to actually understand it before i just started flinging videos out to you guys i didn't want to have to try to find stuff mid video and again guys i'm going to be showing you guys what i truly think is the best things to really start out with in this mode and how to be successful here in this game mode so if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button and if you guys are new to the channel be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button it would be greatly appreciated as we are on the road to 100k subs now let's get right into this guys no more wasting time here overall like i said the mode is kind of confusing when you're looking at it there's a lot of stuff that could be kind of weird to be looking at like a lot of the menus and stuff just look weird so first things first guys let's get into what i think you guys should be focusing on first going into the challenge screen here if you guys go into this there is the 2k day challenges and again there are three challenges guys all set on um you know it looks a lot worse than what it is once you score 30 points as a team the challenge should end i believe i believe it should end because it is in these skills challenges so as long as this is set up the way last year was you guys should still get this pack and you do get a shooting badge pack which is really good challenge number two does give you 2000 mt and you guys do have to get a double double with any player which again is completely fine and in the final game you do have to make eight three-pointers with any player in which you will be getting another shooting badge but once you guys do that guys like i said you will be getting a free 2k day deluxe pack which is going to be very solid now the nba fundamentals guys this is what we got last year where it is just a lot of different badge packs this is still worth it in my opinion to help badge up your players but again you guys could definitely save this um if you guys are trying to do like any dynamic goals with any players you are pulling from packs because again this will always be here and you know the final reward is 5000 mt it's still good but nothing you really need to rush on now going through your xp stuff guys is going to be very easy this year again the reason why i say that is because it is very simply you know you have a lot of this different stuff here which is going to give you different rewards and as you guys go through you guys do get some equal chance packs which is pretty solid and then again the way you earn xp guys is simply just playing the game which is very good so leveling up this year is something you don't have to stress about it will naturally happen which is again actually a very big w to this mode so if you guys are worried about you know getting that Kyrie irving it is naturally going to happen by simply playing through the different game modes which again is very good now one thing before you guys hop into game modes i want you guys to pay attention to is obviously the card grading service but also guys um is going to be the exhibitions here so i haven't clicked on this yet just because like i it's basically the same stuff here but this is actually gets overlooked every year in my team or i might say every year the last two years when you send players away guys this is going to be how you guys get you know random things of mt and stuff like that that's going to help you guys out now obviously you guys do need different players and stuff like that so you guys can see here this player will be gone for one hour and you guys can get whatever so literally it is as simple as scrolling over finding whatever card you guys are not going to use you're going to hit them with the bc and they're going to be going to whatever you need and you guys will be set up good to go now again this is just something that you guys want to be paying attention to and it will help you guys out in the long run here in this game 110 percent so make sure you guys are just taking the time to go ahead and do this again throw players that you guys are not going to need it is free to do and it gives you guys free rewards so make sure you guys are just paying attention and doing little bits of stuff like this once again just to make sure that you are getting the maximum amount of rewards you guys possibly can now again sometimes you guys are not going to be able to do this like danny ainge there i have trey jones there and then i don't have a pelicans player it's okay you guys don't need to do every single one but as long as you guys have them kind of going you guys will be getting again free rewards as you guys are going through and playing different modes now what game modes do i think are the best to really go ahead and start with now there is obviously the agendas here guys to go ahead and get brandon roy that is i think the number one thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and focus on mainly because brandon roy is going to be very good at this game and you guys are obviously going to want this brandon roy now i did a breakdown video of how to get this brandon roy where every single card is located and obviously the best way to go about getting them so if you guys are interested in that be sure to go check out that video but with a lot of this different stuff guys you know there's obviously cards you guys are going to want to focus on getting first like magic johnson he is locked to the center but i still think he's going to be pretty cheesy um a pretty underrated one i think is going to be alonzo morning i love alonzo morning every year in 2k when it is pretty early on i know it sounds kind of crazy but i do like him he is available through triple threat offline 
um and then obviously guys there are some other cards like whatever i mean like randall is located through uh unlimited which again it, it is what it is but i do think one of or a couple of these cards are going to be pretty solid like wally zerbiak and bruce bowen bruce bowen obviously located through clutch time online and wally zerbiak located through clutch time offline as a reward so some of these online modes are definitely going to be good for you guys to go ahead and play but i don't think it's necessarily worth going out and just hammering those modes right away i think building up a team is going to be the most important thing let's unfortunately talk about domination it is still five minute quarters which does suck man but guys i'm gonna be real with you again if you guys want to succeed as a no money spend player break this up every single day do not try to just hammer this right away like i'm probably gonna do break it up the reason why De'Aaron fox first things first is gonna be a very good card i love De'Aaron fox especially again earlier on in 2ks he's quick he's got defense and he always has a good jump shot to back it up he's a card you guys are gonna want the other reason why I like this, though, guys, is that you guys are going to be getting a bunch of MT per game by going through this. You're going to be getting a thousand per game. So current gen dot. Why do I always do that? Current domination right out the gate, guys. You guys are going to be getting a minimum of 30K plus what? That's 5,000. It's another 5,000. That's another 5,000. So that's 45K at a minimum. You guys are going to be getting some diamond shoes and a Hall of Fame badge pack. And that doesn't even include those last couple of games, which could have some pretty juicy rewards to them. You guys are also going to be getting some players in the meantime as well, which is going to help you guys obviously boost up your, you know, collection and everything. And I don't even know what's in all time, Dom. You guys will obviously see those videos when I do get there. But domination is something you guys do want to go ahead and focus on. Next up, triple threat offline. I know it's boring, guys. I know it is boring 110%. But you guys have to remember, you guys are also getting the XP as you guys are doing this. You guys are going to be getting packs. You guys are going to be getting tokens. You guys are going to be getting everything you guys need to kind of succeed in this game. And once you guys hit 100 wins, you guys are again going to be getting this Alonzo morning. Definitely well worth doing. May not be the most appealing to do right away, but it is something that you guys want to go ahead and do. Now let's go ahead again and talk about some of these online modes that you guys should definitely make some good MT off of. Triple Threat Online. I like it. I'm not going to lie. I like what I'm seeing here. Obviously, you do have the wheel spin after every single game here. It does have some good, decent rewards on it. But also, as you guys are going through, 5 wins, 2,500 MT. 10 wins, a free pack. 15 wins, 5,000 MT. Some tokens. And again, as you guys scroll through, there are actually some pretty good rewards here as you guys are going through triple threat online so if you guys are focusing on online guys i think triple threat might be the move to go ahead and do i know a lot of you guys are going to want to go ahead and hammer out unlimited and salary cap i'm not really opposed to that there are some really good packs and stuff in here that are some really good options that i think you guys could definitely do maybe go crazy with unlimited i know a lot of people do care about their records i don't i would just get a good feel for the game before you start playing online um but again that is just me and i would recommend honestly waiting for everybody to have the game before you hop online because once you do that a lot of like players that are just starting this game are going to hop on and if, especially if you are playing under the new zealand stuff you guys will obviously have a little bit of an advantage there and i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and do that so my team this year succeeding guys is going to be based off of literally just going through and grinding the different modes and just getting a lot of these collections done again no money spent is possible this year once again guys i'm going to be sure you guys how to do it without having to do any of these ridiculous amounts of mt for these different players i got you guys is back this year don't you guys worry deal of the day being iggy i'm not gonna lie it is a little tempting i kind of want to scoop them up for that vc amount but again guys we are staying true we will see what happens there but thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and yeah peace